Susan Bailey, uh, a name that may mean nothing to you, but it should because she is a female barrister who just took on a censorious trans activist, extremist bullies and won. An employment tribunal, tribunal yesterday ruled that she was law, unlawfully discriminated against and victimised by senior colleagues at Garden Court Chambers over comments she made on social media expressing criticism over how trans rights activists were infringing on the rights of lesbian and gay people. In 2018, Miss Bailey complained to colleagues about her law chamber's uh, involvement with the Stonewall Diversity Champion Scheme. She claimed the charity advocated, quote, trans extremism. Now, the following year, Bailey was involved in setting up the Lesbian and Gay uh, and Bisexual Alliance, LGB Alliance Group, which argues that there's a conflict between the rights of lesbian, gay and bisexual people and transgender people, on the other hand. For instance, many trans rights activists genuinely claim that if a lesbian does not want to sleep with a biological male who identifies as a woman, that that is tantamount to transphobia, which defies morality and logic. But then again, logic has never been these people's strong suit. Now, the LGB Alliance, which is a registered charity, claims to have this as one of its core values. Rea reality of biology. They say this on their website. We recognise that sex is binary, female and male, and that for the vast majority of people, sex is determined at conception, observed at birth or in utero, and recorded. Makes sense to me. It also advocates the LGB alliance for individual freedom. It says that it rejects that men who identify as women should, without question, have the right to access women's spaces or have a right to be accepted as sexual partners by lesbians and it believes the same of women who identify as men. Now, Alison Bailey, who has been supported by the likes of JK Rowling, who, as we all know, has been a target for trans activist bullies, is a heroine to me. She and the many women who have been taking on hardline trans bullies are trailblazers. And whilst I absolutely do not want to reduce Alison Bailey to her meaningless, immutable characteristic, I think they're worth pointing out. Bailey is a second-generation immigrant. Her parents came to Britain from Jamaica. She's a black lesbian feminist, a true feminist, not one of those new-age faux feminists who try to silence women they disagree with. But she's far more than that. She's been a criminal barrister since I was five years old. In fact, as she was studying hard at university, where she got a first-class degree, by the way, she spent her spare time working with women and children's sexual abuse survivors. And yet, the so-called gender activists who claim to care about women and about rights have made her life hell. But Stonewall and all those who blindly follow their extremist orthodoxy couldn't hold a light to her. They could not hold a candle to her. During the hearings, Bailey said that she had been, quote, thrown to the hate mob by her chambers. She also said, quote, what I have never tried to do to anybody in chambers or elsewhere is to say that because you do not agree with me, I'm going to ruin your reputation and deprive you of your livelihood. That has been the stock in trade of the trans rights movement. That's what uh, Alison Bailey said there. And she also said this, we cannot achieve a just outcome for everyone while Stonewall are free to threaten women like me with the loss of our livelihoods and reputations. Stonewall must be held to account. I intend to do just that. Rightly so. Now, in the interest of balance, Garden Court Chambers have issued the following statement. It says, quote, The tribunal found that it could not conclude that Garden Court Chambers as a whole had a practice of treating gender-critical beliefs as bigoted. This confirms our stance, they say. We have maintained throughout that our members, quite reasonably, hold differing views in the complex debate around trans and sex-based rights. They're looking uh, at appealing the ruling. Now, also in the interest of facts, Bailey won her case against her chambers, but she did not win against Stonewall. But she said this on Twitter. She said, I have lost my case against Stonewall, but I have succeeded in exposing Stonewall's conduct and the enormous, and to my mind, malign influence it wields in the workplace and in society more general. Organisations who put Stonewall law before equality law or seek to silence others from lawfully voicing their criticism of Stonewall may be acting unlawfully and will suffer the consequences, even if Stonewall does not.
Now, in my view, any organisation, any corporation, any entity, any individual which continues to bankroll Stonewall, you are on the wrong side of history. Any young girl or boy who grows up in a world where they are not free to express freely views about gender will not forgive you. Alison Bailey, on behalf of women all over the country, on behalf of all men and women who care about freedom of expression, who care about rights, thank you.